Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rodriguez and for Get Gone today I like to show you this great future for Revit 2020. Uh, today it was the release for this version. I, I am very excited because uh, you, you can see that uh, we have some improve, improvements uh, for this platform uh, in the last year. Uh, I give you this link that you can obtain all this information and you can see this different update that uh, for this version uh, Autodesk create. For this example, uh, they put more effort in the annotation uh, site in the river uh, is uh, update this uh, is is improving the the annotation in river and another part is that you can you can create the uh, uh, river information in in a in place model for the stair. Uh, if you remember, you you can uh, put the river information in, in the model in place, and maybe in this year uh, could be discontinued the advanced still because they have a, a lot of improvements in the annotation pa package for the still elements and then uh, they improve the PDF interoperability between a uh, Revit uh, because now you can do some stuff that it, it will be great that you have in another software but in Revit it, it you don't have. And right now, uh, Dynamo 2.1 is the new version for uh, Revit, and it has a different concept for the another versions. And uh, for this version in, in Dynamo, you you have this uh, package or the, in in the Revit, and you can obtain this node for Jack. You can put the the still connection uh, automatization this this way that you can put uh, this is a really great improvement for Dynamo uh, 2.1 and if you see uh, you have a, a lot of enhancements in the still and the structural uh, side and then in for the uh, visual uh, graphics, you have the improvements in the filters and in the material elements. And this is all the the releases for 2020. And uh, if you you go to the page of the Revit, now you can see it's pretty easy. You only click the Revit2020.com, and you can go to your page. Then. You can uh, download the the new version. Uh, you need to uh, try for free in the free trial. But this is only for the business user because for the student and academic uh, is hasn't released yet. And you only need to put uh, some basic information, and you can try for thirty days. And uh, click in beginning download. Uh, it's a pair uh, this uh, element, and you only need to click in 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 this, and it's a pair this windows. Uh, you only need to click in in I step and next, and then you you have this uh, information in the next window. In the next windows, it's pretty important that uh, you check this information before you download. Uh, I really recommend you that you need to put the LAN that you can download this information because with the Wi-Fi, maybe you, you can have some troubles when you try to download. Uh, for this example, you need to click in Autodesk Revit Content Library 2020, and then you see that you have uh, some different content packs that you can download, but uh, for this first time, I don't recommend you because uh, it takes 
more time to the installation. And I recommend you only put the the basic that already you need. For example, US Metric, US Imperial, and maybe the Spain. Then when you have this uh, customized uh, for in the default content, I, I usually put a uh, use Imperial. When you have this customized, uh, you only need to click in next. Uh, uh, you need to remember that it's, it's better that you connect with the LAN because like you see, you need a 60.2 gigabytes of information that you need to download. And maybe if your Wi-Fi is not stable, uh, the, the, the program maybe can work pretty well. Now I uh, stop this video and I show you the final part that you can see. Uh, the final part, all the information is with the with the check in green. Uh, it means that now you have this software uh, with the right installation. Now, if you see, it's pretty similar to the later version to Revit 2019, and you have the same palette with the improvements that I showed you before, and then you can see with more time uh, in the Autodesk uh, principal page. Uh, this is like the interface, the Revit 1090.2. And then I open this basic uh, project that you can see. Uh, this is the same project browser, the, the same palette for the architecture, uh, for the structure, uh, still system, uh, in insert, in annotate, and then you have the new, the new, the new uh, window, little window for the create your analysis path in, in analysis. And, and now you have the new version. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe.